presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, Flash Gordon narrowly escaped death when Saul, the jealous general, fired at his back and caused him to be thrown from his horse. Queen Azora would have killed Saul with her sword, but Flash nobly spared his life. That night, Mara the spy learned of the Blue Magic Army's plan to attack the Hawkmen at daybreak and escaped from the palace to warn Zarkov and tell him the reason for Flash's strange behavior. Next morning, Azura gave Flash a torpedo to hurl when he got close enough to the Hawkmen. As the attack began, Mara the spy reached the entrance to the tunnel, but just as he was about to reveal the secret of Flash's failure to recognize his friend, Mara was killed by a ray from the guns of the Blue Magic Men. At that moment, Flash Gordon was sighted riding straight for the tunnel. And Dr. Zarkov, thinking he was deserting the Blue Magic Army, went out to welcome him to the ranks of the Hawkmen. When Flash reached the entrance to the tunnel, he pulled his horse to a stop and hurled the torpedo, which immediately exploded. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. A full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. With shouts and tumult, the army of blue magic men with Queen Azura at their head reached the tunnel entrance. Oh! Azura, it worked. It worked. The enemy are frozen into icicles. Of course it worked, my prince. Didn't I tell you what would happen when you threw the torpedo? You're wonderful, Azura. Why are men such fools as to try to fight against you? They don't for long. Azura, do you know this man, frozen with his hand upraised? Do you? No. But... But what? Well, it seems as though I should know him. Here, drink this vodka. It will refresh you after your hard ride. Why do you think you should know this man, my prince? When I rode up to throw the torpedo, this man came out of the tunnel with his hand upraised. Just as it is now. He may have been about to surrender. No, no, he didn't say anything about surrendering. He spoke to you? What did he say? He called Flash Gordon. Flash, my friend. He surprised me so, I almost forgot to throw the torpedo. <laughs> Thank the God you didn't forget. Why should this man call me friend? I've never seen him before. It was a trick, Flash. When he saw you carrying the torpedo, he tried to deceive you, to throw you off your guard. Well, it almost worked. You are a man of steel, my prince. What self-control you have. Ah, you are truly the man of my heart. Am I, my beautiful one? It makes me very happy to hear you say that. My prince. How? Your majesty. Have the prisoners carried back to my palace. Be very careful of this one. Oh, yes, your majesty. Your command shall be obeyed to the letter, your majesty. Uh, uh, Captain... Why are you so particular about the man who calls me? Flash, did you ever hear of a man called Zarkov? 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 No, Azora, I've never heard of him. Who is he? That is the man who calls to you. In his own country, he is a wizard. That wall of chemical ice which protected him and his men from our combustion rays is an example of his magic skill. <laughs> I don't wonder you handle him with care. He should be a most valuable man to have around. You see my point exactly. I shall have Tal revive him when they get back to the palace. And by the way, Flash... Uh, yes, Azora? The fumes of the torpedo sometimes cause strange reactions. So if you meet this Zarkov and he insists on calling you his friend, remember that was the last thing on his mind before the torpedo exploded. I quite understand, Azora. Good. And now, my victorious prince, shall we celebrate? Back in the palace, Tall carried out the Witch Queen's order. He strapped the frozen Zarkov to a table, then he tipped it into the rays of an electro-therapeutic revivifier. Uh, uh, take care of this one, she said. I wonder why, as a case changed from youth to middle age. If so, I, I must see what I can do to win her favor. Ah, you are thawing out, are you? Uh, good. I'll give you a little more heat. Uh, how's 
that, stranger. Oh, be careful. The current's on full strength. You know what that may do? Mm. Oh, yes, I, I didn't notice the, the indicator. Oh. Yeah, be very careful of this one, she said. Hey, yes, Your Majesty. We'll take care of him. <laughs> uh, uh, you are coming around, are you? All right, stranger. Uh, loose the strap, slave. Uh, come on now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, stranger, come on, get on your feet. Uh, Flash Gordon. Flash, my friend. Uh, Flash Gordon is not here. Who are you? Uh, what has happened? Where am I? You are a prisoner of Azura, queen of magic. And your friend, Flash Gordon, captured you. Now I know you. Uh, you... Uh, stand back. I have my sword point against your breast. One move and I'll run you through. I came to rescue Flash Gordon. Uh, rescue him. He doesn't need to be rescued. You mean, tell me the truth, you wizard of darkness. Has Flash turned traitor? Mm, he has drunk the Queen's magic drug and has forgotten you and his sweetheart, Dale Arden, and even his own identity. Thank the God. I was afraid the change was due to Flash himself. What is this drug of forgetfulness? Uh, lithium. Uh, God! You uh, Take this new slave to the kitchen until Her Majesty makes up her mind. How she will dispose of him. Thank you, General Dow. Now, don't thank me. I had my way. You wouldn't be here now. March this way, slave. Wait. General Dow, uh, what has happened to Dale Arden? You will see her in the kitchen. She is alive, then? Yeah. And Khan. Khan? Oh, yes, that must be the other one. Yes, he's there, too. Uh, take him away, guard. Come along, slave. Yeah. Here, you. Put this machine and apparatus away. Uh, clean up this room. These are the kitchens, I presume. Yes, but see that you don't presume too much around here. Oh, a joke. <laughs> Not bad. Stop laughing. There will be no joke if you start any trouble, and we have to electrocute you. Quite so, quite so. Why is that animal carcass placed between those machines? Those machines are two electrodes. Flaming rays are roasting the carcass. Mm, very interesting. Very interesting. Electrodes, eh? A much quicker process than roasting in an oven. Dr. Zarko! Dr. Zarko! Dale! Stay Arden! Stay here, slave, while I get a set of manacles for you. Oh, Lieutenant! What's this? Oh, you're oh, safe. No. Ma reached you in time, and he got there safely. Yes, Ma reached me safely, Dale. But just as you are pulling him into the tunnel... He was killed? Yes. Oh. He was hit by a ray from the Queen's soldier. Poor Ma. Then he didn't tell you about Flash? No. He was killed just as he was about to. Oh, Dr. Zarkov, I've been so lonely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Flash has turned against me. He's completely forgotten me. No. Yes. He's in love with that wicked Queen of Magic. No, no, Dale. Flash has been drugged. He has lost his memory. Drugged? Yes. That's just what Khan and I thought might have happened. How did you find out? A general named Tao told me. Tao? That's the Queen's right-hand man. Her chief magician. He ought to know. Oh. Dr. Zarkov, we must save Flash. Yes, Dale, we must save Flash. And ourselves, too. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. Khan and I both wish you were here to help us. You know so much about science and electricity. Uh, where is Khan? Tao said I would see him here. Well, in getting away from the palace, Ma went out the servant's gate. Khan and I went with him to see that the coast was clear. Yes, and uh, go on. We saw him slip out safely. And the next thing we knew, the guard came after us to our quarters and blamed us for his escape. How could they have linked you with Ma? Oh, they had seen us talking together. Oh. And one of the inner guards had challenged us near the gate just before Ma slipped out. I see. But what has happened to Khan? They separated us. Khan is in a cell somewhere. They bring him in here to do his work and take him away again. I shall be glad to see him. Here's that fellow Tao. Now, what is going on here? Uh, get to work, slave. What is the hurry, Tao? We have got lots of time for work. Come, come, no back talk. Oh, you'll taste the electric whip. Oh, God. 
see that this new prisoner learns our magic discipline. Yes, General Tall. Yes, and you. Yes, General Tall. Prepare some little cakes and fill these two flagons with uh, vodka. Her Majesty and Flash wish refreshment. Once, General Tall. Her Majesty is very particular about these solid gold flagons. See that Flash Gordon gets this large, uh, two-handled one. And Her Majesty, the smaller and more uh, delicately shaped one. Yes, General Tall. Well, well, what are you standing there for? Hurry, hurry. Can't you see that dragon's eyes over there flashing? What has that got to do with Dale Stark? Whenever Queen Azura wishes some vato, those dragon's eyes light up. You can almost judge her mood from the flash of the eyes. Wonderful. Yes, I shall tell Her Majesty you are coming. Hurry now, hurry. I'm sorry I can't stay to talk with you, Dr. Zarko. We have so much to say to each other. That is true, Dale. But we shall have plenty of time around here to talk later. Uh, you attend to your duty. In the meantime, until they get those manacles for me, I'll have a look around the kitchen. Very well. I'll take these in to Flash and Queen Azora. Well, it's about time. What kept you, girl? You think you had to make the vodka instead of just pour it? I'm sorry to be so long, Your Majesty. Come, Miss Order. This is a night of celebration. I'm glad to. Let's not spoil it. As you say, my prince. Here, drink this vodka. Have one of these little cakes. I'm sure you'll like them. Thanks. I'll have one of the cakes. Nothing to drink with them? Well, I'll take a sip of the vodka to keep you company. Mm, my throat is hot. Give me that flagon, girl. You had a hard day of it, Azora. Ah, that tastes good. You are sure you don't care for any more, my prince? No, no more for me, thanks. Take the flagons and cakes away, girl. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Dr. Zarkov. I have it. I have the plan to save us all. You have? Oh, what is it, Dr. Zarkov? Get your tray down. There. Now, Dr. Zarkov, what is your plan? While you were gone, the guard slashed me with his electric whip. I have just thought of the way to repay him. Now I want you to knock over those dishes piled up there on that table. Then the guard will beat me. Oh, no, he won't. He has beaten others for less cause. Why won't he beat me? Because when you knock the dishes over, I will jump up on that platform... And grab one of those electrodes that is being used to roast the meat and swing its flaming ray on the chief cook and the guard as they stop for you. Oh, Dr. Zarkov, if the attempt should fail... Oh, do not think about that, Dale. It must not fail. Do as I tell you. Everyone's back is turned just now. Hurry. Very well. Here goes. Uh, Dr. Zarkov, save me! Stand back from that girl, or I will bring you both to a crisp! Are the tables to be turned? Can Dr. Zarkov single-handed overcome Queen Azura's guards and rescue Dale Arden? See for yourself how he proposes to do this in big, full-color pictures in the Comic Weekly, distributed with all Hearst newspapers next Sunday. The Comic Weekly is the world's most popular supplement of humor and adventure. It is now printed in full-size pages, not tabloids. Every page of the Comic Weekly entertains like the star act in the variety show. For the big, full-page Comic Weekly is the world's greatest variety show of humor and adventure, with every act a headliner. So be sure to get the big full-page Comic Weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. Meanwhile, goodbye until next week, when we'll be back with another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.